Hi everyone, it's Joyce from Stay at Home Adventures here, and I am, today I am going to go over the monthly budget worksheets that we offer in our Stay at Home Adventures on our budget binder. The first thing you will see for the month will be a monthly budget printable, and here you will write the month. The income will go here, so all your income will be written down here. Your budgeted income down here will be the monthly fixed expenses, which will be the mortgage, um, any home utilities, um, any subscription, meaning like Netflix or Hulu, Jim, whatever you have that's a monthly fixed income will go on this list right here. You will write the date when it's due and the amount you have budgeted for the month. The actual will be after you pay when you are closing on your budget, you will actually write your actual payment here in the total. For other expenses, whatever other bill you have, that's not um, fixed. So for us, it will be, for example, um, groceries or gas or um, fun or things like that. Um, that you don't have, that they're not fixed. All right, so next we're gonna cover the paycheck budget. This is a method you can use to budget your paycheck. Um, it is recommended if you're starting to budget and if you're living paycheck to paycheck to track where your money is going each paycheck. Again, paycheck, which will be the date, paycheck, the income, how much you got. Whose check is it? Like I will write here SAC or my check Joyce and then the amount that we were expecting. And at the end of the month, we actually got paid. And the expenses for this check will be, let's say, I will pay Hulu, um, have the mortgage, and the date uh, they're due. If they're not due, then that's a fine feeling. If that's okay to leave your this blank right here and the amount that you have budgeted for that bill and the same here so basically it's the same step as the monthly budget worksheet but it's broken down into paychecks to make it more detailed and help you keep track of what your money is going each paycheck the next sheet that I want to go over is the cash envelope worksheet and if you pull your money monthly you write the categories for your cash envelope and what you have budget and the total here if you don't pull your money once a month and you pull it when you get paid or bi-weekly then this worksheet is for the bi-weekly for which I recommend you do if you're starting out Again, the categories, which paycheck that money you're going to take for the first paycheck and the second paycheck, and the total. Now, if you, the total here should equal the total in the monthly month. And if you need help tracking your um, cash and what you need, then you, I would recommend the next all right the next one the next sheet that I like to use a lot when I use my cash envelopes is the cash envelope sheet which is called how much cash do I need then here you category for your cash envelopes the amount you need and then you write down the bill count like if I need two five dollar bills three twenty bills and then here you write the value so the total amount here, the total amount of $5 bills, the total amount of 20s, and so on. And at the bottom, the bill count. So if I need $5 bills, 10, 10 counts of um, $20 bills, and so on. And then you take this part right here with you to the bank, or you take a picture, and then when you withdraw the money, you tell the bank teller how much you're going to need of each. So the bill count sheet is pretty um, useful if you're doing the cash envelope system. The next sheet is the cash envelope category. This is a tracker that you can keep on your binder or print out, whichever you want to do, um, and take it with you, or 
If you want to cut them to small pieces and insert them in your envelope, it's up to you. And then it has the monthly cash envelope tracker expense right here. You can do this at the end of the month. Monthly income tracker, monthly expense trackers, and as you can see, they're color coordinated and then the saving. And then at the end of the month, you will go over everything when you close out your budget. You will write down your month, the budget, the actual, and everything that you need to write here will be the amount, the total savings amount, and any note that you have. And then you can also go up here in the previous one. Let me see. This is a sheet that was covered. I went over this on the last video. Your financial breakdown, and you can actually put the total income, that you, the total expenses, and write this down and keep this in this sheet right here that's on the binder too. So then you have one central location. So each month when you finish closing out your budget, you use this sheet to fill out the financial breakdown sheet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know. I really don't like making videos as you can see. <laughs> Have a good one.